Joining me now to discuss is Newsmax foreign policy analyst and author of Iran, an imperialist republic and U.S. policy, Walid Ferris. Also with us, counterterrorism and foreign policy expert and the host of the Foreign Desk podcast, Lisa Daftari. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Walid, let's talk about the Houthis. They came very close to damaging U.S. Navy and commercial ships in the Red Sea with one of their armed, unmanned surface uh, vessels. I want you to take a listen to former NATO chief James Savridis, who is encouraging President Biden to take a better approach. Take a look at this. The White House, I think, is going to have to move toward a response that's more aggressive against the Houthis ashore that means going after an Iranian proxy. Um, that is going to inflame tension. And I think President Biden is walking into that conversation with his team today. What do you what do you think about that, Walid? Well, Lydia, first of all, this administration was going in the wrong direction. Let's begin from there. We were, you know, under uh, 10 points under zero. And now we're trying to see what we're going to do about it. Why? Because on month one, after this administration, you know, took over, what did we do? What did the administration do? They pulled out the Houthi organization from the U.S. list on terrorism. So that's a mistake. And we pay the price of making those mistakes. Number two, we pressured the Saudis, the Emiratis, the, what was the Arab coalition under the Abraham Accord to stop fighting the Houthi. We had allies actually fighting the Houthi. So we made all these mistakes. At this point in time, I agree with the retired uh, admiral that a real action has to be taken, not just to protect the vessels. A real action has to be taken against that terrorist organization and against our suppliers, which is the Iran regime. That, that is very clear in my sense. Lisa, can you break it down for us how Biden's policies have enabled Iran, has enriched the coffers of the, the mullahs with a, the mullahs with a lot of mullah, you know, because of our energy policies Talk to us, uh, because people don't understand that, that we are kind of, in a way, indirectly funding terrorism. Absolutely, not even indirectly. I would say directly in many instances, mm -hmm. as well from day one, even when Biden was campaigning, we going to get back into the Iran nuclear deal. The rhetoric, the policy from day one of this administration were to embolden Iran regime and its proxies. So as, as well, we said, we took the Houthis off terrorists. We took vital sanctions off of Iran's regime that enabled them to sell $690 billion in oil just to uh, find new partners like China. We took the pressure off of them. It was very, very obvious when we kept going back to the nuclear negotiating table to say, pretty please give us a deal. We tried to keep sweetening that deal uh, by giving them concessions and giving them bonuses on top of a lopsided prisoner exchange just recently. So it's been very obvious that the posture of the Biden administration from day one is that they're not going to punish the Iran regime, which is obviously the head of this entire dragon. And that's why we're seeing what we're seeing. It's very difficult to now enforce what we are trying to enforce on the Houthis, on Hezbollah, on Iran's regime. And deterrence does not start after the fact. It starts before our enemies are allowed to go on and do what they are doing. That's why we're watching uh, the consequences unfold in this. Absolutely. And while we have about a, a minute left, Biden, he could bankrupt them, right? Because the more money Iran has, the more. Why doesn't he do it? I don't. I don't understand. Why not enforce the sanctions? We didn't have this chaos under President Trump for this very reason. Of course, under no other presidency, under until the Obama administration came in and the Biden administration extended that policy. I am. I am out of these questions at this point in time and answers. The question is not anymore. Why is he doing it? We want to know exactly who's profiting from this because it's irrational. It's strategically, it has, it's a nonsense to keep funding the actual regime that is funding all these militias and they are attacking us in multiple fronts. There must be an interest, unfortunately, in the United States and in Europe that is protecting the Iran regime. Congress needs to investigate the matter. I agree wholeheartedly. Anytime something doesn't make sense, three words come to mind. Follow the money. Waleed Ferris, Lisa Daftari, thank you so much.